how's it going guys this is Sahil your boy here and in this video we're gonna make an application and the goal of that application is to fetch our IP address along with the uh, all the information related to that IP address like the country name the state name um, the latitude the longitude and this won't be the exact one it will be the latitude and longitude of our IP oh, sorry ISP the internet service provider okay so let's start the project so first of all let me just open my visual studio code and we'll be using few uh, API's here um, okay so I have already something set up here so I'll give you this uh, index.egs file in my uh, description here and I have set up our app.js file so I'll just quickly get to you what I have done here so I have set up a constant express that means I need to install express just install that next constant is easiest that means we need to install easiest right just install that now I'll, I have just used this express here by creating a, big, a constant called app here we're running that server on one two three four uh, setting the view engine to easiest and setting up a get request callback request response and in response, I'm rendering this index.egs file. This is created inside here, like in this views folder, there's a file called index.egs. And this is basically our HTML data that I have borrowed from Bootstrap. And I'll give you this link in the descri uh, description, sorry. And yep, as I've told you earlier, I have installed EGS and Express here. So install that by typing npmi express space EGS. All right, now it's just set. Now just let code here in app.js so first of all let me just show you how our page looks like so i'll just run that in a minute so no demon app.js is running on port 1234 let's open our chrome here so local host one two three four and there we go this is our site okay so uh, what I want here is I want to display the IP address here and disclaimer here I'm not showing my real IP address I'll be using a public Wi-Fi so that IP address is of that public Wi-Fi okay so I'll be using two API's here and that API's are I was actually open that I don't know like I closed the Chrome and everything was gone here the first one is this one the second one is yep yeah, this one so we'll be using two APIs here the first one is of IP who is dot IO the second one is this who which fetches our API uh, IO our IP sorry so to use this API I have to set I have to send an HTTP uh, get request on this URL here and this is basically our parameter which will be an IP address and I'll getting that IP address by this API which gives us our IP address like if I refresh it I'll get my IP address here and this is not my real IP address I'm trying to log in into this IP address so let's time it's time to code now okay so I'll, I'll get a new um, uh, I'll get up HTTPS here the constant HTTPS is equal to require REQUI are require HTTPS inside this get let's set up a constant here so constant or maybe variable variable OBJ object is equal to this object contain host name path method which, which we have to not type any headers here so for the host name i'm going to just copy the host name from here which is api.ip uh, something here i'll just copy that here and and we don't need to we need to type the https at the beginning so or just remove that here okay now the path here will be uh this one okay now let's kind of send the HTTPS request so HTTPS dot get 
and uh, sorry I'll be sending the object here and response callback and response dot on I'll get that data under callback to output that data and console dot log json dot parse data let's refresh that let's see what we get let's go on to a local host local host one two three four we got our IP address here right now I need uh, I need this one I need the IP address not the constant here so this kind of gets stored inside an object this is call an IP right so I'll set up a new va variable here so variable IP a double the R is equal to JSON dot parse data or maybe kind of variable IP data is this one and I'm gonna create a new variable here so variable IP AWDR is equal to IP data dot this one which is dot IP right all right now let's kind of console log this IP AWDR so console dot log IP AWDR here last oh my god I why what happened man yep right now let's refresh that again and we got that IP here and I no longer need this console log here in the front I'll delete that all right now I got the IP address right now I need to send this IP address inside this API which is our uh, over here right so this is basically the API so as you know that I need to set up a new constant here new object here say variable object one is equal to this is an, a const, um, an object so host name is this one and path is this one and method is get so for the path our path is this one it should be forward slash and our IP address here so path will be forward slash plus IP a address and the host name is this one I don't need the HTTP uh, here so it is set up now let's kind of get uh, fast this request so HTTP HTTP HTTPS dot get I'm setting sending object one here and response one is equal to response one dot on data and data IP is equal to console dot log json dot parse data IP let's kind of run that again let's see what we get so let's go on to localhost 1234 again and I got a hell lot of different 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 things right so first of all I'll just explain the code here so what I did here is first of all I created a variable uh, I hope you got till here so I created a object here and object one is the next API that we'll be using to fetch the uh, information related to that IP address till here we'll, we, we are just fetching up the IP address and from here we are just fetching up the information related to that IP address so I have to set up an object here and this is just a simple get request here I'm sending a get request um, with this object here and this console login the response converting that to JSON format over here and we got the response right now I got a hell of a lot of different things here 
so I don't need these all if you want you can actually create it create a more detailed one here but like it's it's it's, it's good you know like I got a very much information here so what I will do here is uh, I need this IP here I need the continent here I need the country here I need the region here I need the city here I need the latitude I need the longitude I need the postal I need the calling code I need the capital New Delhi I'll get that flag here and I will get get the get uh, the time here all right so I hope you got it what I'm doing here so let's first of all let's go to JSON Pathfinder for our you know like um, benefit just because it's a long path here so just log in or just visit the site here jsonpathfinder.com and inside the site I'll be just pasting up this response that I will be getting here by just specifying our IP address which is this one so this is the response here I'll just copy this response here and just paste there inside the JSON Pathfinder beautify it I got a lot of things here right now uh, okay now we got a hell of a lot of different things right so I am setting up a few a variable here so first variable will be IP or maybe post IP and this will be equal to this one whose path is x.ip and in my case the x is actually uh, um, this this variable that I will be creating here so let's create a variable x is equal to this this variable post ip is x.ip let's console log x let's see what we get console.log x no sorry not not the x console.log post ip here and let's delete um, this console log otherwise we'll get can confused here so let's uh, clear the screen here let's run that again kind of go back to our local host refresh it we got the IP address right now I need the continent so I'll just copy that I'll create a new first of all let's delete this console log so I'll create a new variable post conti let's do a camel casing post e o n t i n e n t is equal to x dot continent all right now the next one will be our country which is this one over here I'll copy that variable post c o u n t every country is equal to x dot country let's create next variable which is region copy that it's variable post or e g i o n region is equal to x dot region next uh, maybe city here copy that so variable post city is this one next one maybe latitude copy that variable post l a t i t u d latitude is equal to x dot latitude now it's time for the longitude copy that up variable post l o n g i t u d e longitude i hope i'm not doing any spelling mistakes here is equal to x dot longitude all right next is our postal copy that my god I, there's a lot of variables here variable post postal my god post postal is equal to this one now next it comes the calling code copy that variable 
suppose calling code is equal to this one oops yep now the next one is the capital copy that so variable capital is sorry variable post vapi capital is equal to this one and we need the flag also so i will get the flag here which is basically this one copy that variable post flag img is equal to this one and if you want you can also get the emoji here let's get that also why we left it so variable post e emoji i emoji is equal to this one now we need variable post time zone and this should be equal to uh, this one here uh, let's copy that also and we're done finally we have set up our all the uh, variable that we're gonna be exporting inside this index.ejs file here so now how do we export the variable just copy this re uh, response.render and paste it inside here let's see oh my god let's do this okay now let's see if we have made any mistakes or not let's kind of go inside that refresh it and we are all done here okay now first of all let's close all these all sites that is not necessary okay now we are working with this one now we need to design it right so i'll go inside this index.ejs file and kind of i'm getting confused here just because it's kind of uh very messy here but uh, what i will do here is i'll create a new file here inside this views folder and name it sorry um header.ejs and one more file here to fwtf footer.ejs and inside this header first of all i'm gonna copy everything from the start in here um to be to here just cut everything here and paste that inside header.ejs file and if you want you can do that with footer do we have a footer here uh, no, no we don't have a footer so no need to do it for footer just delete that footer.ejs here just delete it Alright, so now we need to require that header.ejs inside our index.ejs file. To do that, just type here um, angular braces percentage dash include header.ejs and percentage angular braces close. Let's save that let's refresh it do we have made any mistakes here and we made a mistake so what is the mistake that we have made here so here that is yes uh, what is the mistake here Let's kind of just view page source here. Let's see, or let's go to inspect element. Let's see what we have uh, made the mistake here. Uh, you know what? I don't know why this is happening here. 
Well, this shouldn't happen. Why is it happening? You know what? Let's undo all the things. Let's lead this one here and paste it inside index.exes. Or wait a second, wait a second, let's don't do that. Uh let's delete this one here. Let's see if it's working you can like this. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's H A D your header dot EGS. We are not requiring it correctly, I hope so. So variable angular braces percentage dash include H A D your header dot EGS. Um, that's percentage angular braces. I hope I'm doing that right. Yeah, we got that. I don't know why it, it didn't work previously, but I got that now. Okay, so do that here. So we are just requiring this here dot easiest here. Just because in like uh, our now it's team is looking less messy here. And we have got all the things that is actually unnecessary here. So I need this icon grid here and I need to get I put my IP address here. So let's get that icon grid. And first of all let's go inside app.js here. And here let me just send all these variables. Okay. So now what you need to do here is just copy everything here and paste that first variable second variable third fourth Left here. Six here. Seven here. My God, this is a boring task now. A tier nine here ten eleven twelve And there we go. So I have just exported all these variables here. These are a lot of variables. Now I need to require that here inside index.ejs file. So let's delete this icon grid here. And instead of that icon grid, I want to display my IP address. So angular braces percentage dash, sorry, angular braces percentage equal to, and it is post. IP I'm not, I'm not sure what is the name here. Let's see that inside app.js. So there is a mistake here. What is the mistake? Is that a mistake? Is there really a mistake here? Alright, I, I got it. 
So over here, post it is equal to post it. I got, I got two commas here. I don't need that, right? So let's delete that. And we are all set up. Now inside this, so it is basically our IP post IP. Just copy that here and paste that inside index.ejs. So post IP and percentage angular braces close. Save that. Let's refresh it. I got the IP here. Now uh, I will delete. Well, now continent. Let's paste that over here. So let's first of all let's um kind of just delete this feature title here. Let's type here C O N Conti. And hope I'm typing the right spelling and delete this paragraph here and paste your angular braces percentage equal to percentage angular braces index app dot ejs post continent save that here oh my god it's continent that type the wrong spelling here yeah I did Let's, re let's rename that. So Q N T I N E N T continent and over here also N E N T and N E N T. All right. Let's refresh it. Come on, baby. All right. Let me just kind of run that again here. Holy crap, why is it not working, man? Did I go any mistake here? Who? What is this? Right, yeah, I, I knew that. Um, well... Hang on, how can I... Minimize this terminal? Alright. So it should be post you and quantity any anti continent. Okay, I got it. Let's remove this full stop here. Save that. Refresh it. Continent Asia. Now I need. Well, you know what? I can do one thing here. I can actually swap the places. I hope you got that. So let's set up the let's get the continent from here. Let's paste it over here inside the paragraph, and let's copy the uh, the the JavaScript variable from here and paste it inside this one. Refresh it, and it's looking much more good. And you know what? I don't need this. Uh, or let's let's get that. I'll just edit that later on. Now the next one is our state here, or city. So. STAT state and city state and city and here I'll be requiring that variable in the JavaScript variable let me just copy this one here oh my god come on baby let's copy this okay let's paste it over here One more time and here I want to just get the post post country and post region so post country and post region post region 
let's save that let's refresh it okay I need to get a space in between here all right I'm gonna come also yeah it is not a state here uh, well it's country it should be country and that is India state that is Bihar and city I'm gonna I'll get that city from here so post city is equal to x dot city here uh, yep it's recording <laughs> I thought it's not recording man <laughs> all right so let's go to the post study as well here and let's paste that here country region and the next one is our city and it's let's copy this paste it delete that paste it over here and it is post city and comma here comma space space comma oh my god come on comma why is it not given a comma here? oh my god it's got a comma here <clears throat> let's refresh it I don't know why it's not getting comma here India Mujaf India Bihar Mujafur country state and city and now you know what I'll just copy this div here now it's time for the latitude and longitude so let's copy that latitude and the longitude here right I didn't copy the longitude latitude and oh oh my god I got it I did a mistake here it should be post longitude post G I T U D E longitude and this should be equal to longitude post L O N G I T U D E L O N G I T U D E longitude yeah and here it should be post L O N G I T U D E longitude and let's rename it to be L A T I T U D latitude and L O N G I T U D E longitude. Let's refresh it. Oh, oh my god, why is that happening here? I guess I can't do that. I hope so. So what I will do here is kind of you know what let's comment out this div here and let's do that let's copy the la post latitude post longitude here and paste that inside here feature title And I don't need the city here, so let's delete that. Okay, paragraph should be L A T I T U latitude and L O N G I T U D longitude. Let's refresh it. I hope it's gonna work now. And I'm gonna just provide the location also for the location. Let's go to maps dot google dot com and what will happen if I just paste the latitude here wait a second latitude here comma and the longitude we got this enter it and it's not defined here okay let's go to maps dot uh, google dot com and let's paste that over here I hope that's gonna work here oh my god not that refresh it 
delete this one. Let's paste the latitude and longitude here. And it's not working. If I paste it over here, yeah, yeah, I got it. So I need to paste. It should be inside of place. Uh, it should be inside of place um, path. If I paste the map address here, let's copy that. And let's see. I'm gonna get that. So let's copy everything here. And uh, inside here, let's create a. Mm, where is it? Yep. Yeah. Create a uh, href here. So a href is equal to this address here. And here I'm gonna just get the latitude and longitude here, which will be nothing but but this one over here. Latitude, longitude, right? And 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 and, and this should be inside this a tag here. Alright, let's refresh it. If I search on it, I'll get forwarded inside Google Maps. And I need to add a more attribute here, which is target is equal to underscore blank. Yep, refresh it. And there we go, I got it. Now it's time for for the post calling cord. Alright, just copy that here. So variable percentage equal to post calling code percentage close mm -hmm. call, save that, see it all ing calling cord refresh it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm missing out something here, yep I did alright, will not work here yep I got that, now what's next here now the next one is post capital so let's add that here angular braces percentage equal to post c a p i t l percentage angular braces and just delete this and the OU of a country C A P I T L capital refresh it country capital now the next one is the post flag and I need to get that here so let's get that Angular braces percentage equal to post flag percentage angular braces and here should be our image right so I'll get that so image source is equal to oh my god I did a mistake here I should add well I need to get this one here And the image source is this one. And this one is just the flag. 
Let's refresh it. Let's see what we get. Yes, very big now. I need to, you know what? I need to add a height and width. Height is equal to 25. Width is equal to 25. A bit more, maybe 50 might work here. So height is equal to 50. Width is equal to 50. Maybe I need to improve my width. Maybe it should be 100, I guess so. 100 is too much, maybe. Uh, 75 or 70 yeah now let's add our you know like emoji here like that I have copied here which is post emoji let's add that also here so flag and variable percentage equal to post emoji percentage dash I save that. Yeah, I got it. I need a PR here. All right. Okay. Now the next one. What's the next? The next one is the time zone. Let's get that also. Uh, angular versus percentage equal to percentage equal to oh my god what I'm what I am copying here variable percentage equal to I need to copy down this one copy and go inside I'm yeah, so percentage equal to post time zone and let's get that over here all right time zone kind of refresh it Alright, I got it. I no longer need the last one here. So let's delete it. Okay. Refresh it. And there we go. Now you can do anything here. You can format here, maybe like here the the IP the address is this one the IP address is this continent Asia India Bihar with the poor country state city that is long if the user can click if the user click here it will get into the um, the location here calling code country's capital flag time zone and you know what you know what you know what one thing here I got this calendar here I got this home here I don't need that here well it's kind of looking good for 901 but it's not looking good for here 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 so I need to uh, change that here so like it's all the SVG here mm, maybe I can Maybe use CPU here. Every it's kind of looking good. The CPU is looking good, so let's use that only in everything here. Copy that, paste it over here. All right, paste it over here.
Okay, home also. Just here also. Emoji. And time zone. I'll do that. Let's refresh it. Alright, I'll do this one to here. So what is this? This is geofill. Copy that and paste it inside the latitude and longitude over here. Refresh it. I got that. And the time zone inside the time zone. Let's if calendar is available here. The LA and here calendar four. Oh my God! The LA and here calendar four. Refresh it. Nope, it's not available. Calendar. Maybe calendar too. It was available, I guess. So and it's not. All right, let's copy that only. CPU fill. And there we go. So this is, you know, like how we make a website that gives us the IP address and this works very well. So I'll just summarize what we did in the project here. So first of all, like the basic idea is I have required Express, EJS. I'm using Ex Express. The app is listening on port 1234. I have set up the view engine to here. And the first, like, like we have two up, like we have two problems here. First, you need to get the IP address, and I and I got the IP address by using the API called IP dot who is with the IP with the help of IP dot who is I got the IP address. Now I need to fetch the information related to that IP address. So for that, I've using this one. All right, so, so sorry, I have used an IP.IP5 over here to get the IP address. Now I have used an IP.whois to get the information related to that IP address. And I have just saved down every information inside a variable here. Now I have, I'm just using a syntax in EGS to actually send um, the all JavaScript variable inside this EGS.file. I have only required that variable and paste it paste it in the appropriate areas and that's how I create this project. So if you can refresh it, you will get different different things. You can uh, customize it more. So guys, this is how you can create a, a website that can give the IP address and just try out and just let me know if that, how is this project here, if it's working for you or not. So if you like this video, then hit the like button and comment me out for the next project that you want to make. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.